Hello Virgos. So this is your weekly reading. I'm going to start it from the 25th to the November the 2nd. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Okay. Universe, what's the current energy between Virgos and the person that's on Virgo? Mine, I got your element here. Nine of Pentacles. Going slow. Okay. So I feel like you guys are moving forward. Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, what would we like to say to Virgo? Will of Fortune, Ten of Wands, someone feels stupid, <laughs> okay? So I feel like this is them. What they would like to say is that they want something to change. They want to be in their life. They want you to be in their life. Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, where are they keeping hidden from Virgo? The sun, it was the truth. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, how did he feel about Virgo? Okay, I got two cards. Seven of Cups. They're not too sure where they stand with you, but they also feel like you do not want to deal with them. Okay, universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, what is their true feelings for Virgo? Inference. Oh, wow, it came out reverse. So they feel like you're really pissed at them. Okay, like you do not want to be next to them. Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, what is their intention? This came out reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. They know them resurfacing is going to probably get you pissed. Okay, but they're going to still try. Universe, the person that's on Virgo mind, what actions will they take with Virgo? Yep, Eight of Pentacles. They're going to resurface and try to make things balance with you. But they know that they really done took it too far. They know that they really effed up. Okay. So they are going to resurface. They know that that might irritate you, but they're still going to try. Okay. Um, this person could be a Aries, a Leo, a Libra. Okay. Uh, could be a Taurus as well or another Virgo. So you see what else with the Eight of Pentacles. Inverse Club for the Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Yeah. You're going to try. Could they see a future still with you? You probably don't feel the same. Universe, clap for the Queen of Wands in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to try again, even though they know that's going to irritate you. Okay, let's see what the other spread. Universe, give me a four card spread. So there's artist, damsel, mentor. Universe, give me one more card. There is scribe and warrior. Also, I'm getting another side message. If you are, okay, for example, if you are a supervisor or you have a leadership position, I feel like somebody who's your understudy is trying to get to your position, <laughs> okay? Um, they're very competitive. They see you as competition, even though you are trying to, you know, you're trying to show them like how to, you know, be that better um, employee or how to, this could be like, for example, um, a friend or acquaintance, you probably have your own business. They were trying to learn. Okay. But they see you as competition. They really want to try to see how they can like overthrow you. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm seeing. Now, when it comes to love, um, this person is going to try different ways to get your attention. Okay. They're going to keep on trying to fight with you. Okay. Not fight with you, but trying to fight for you. Okay. Let's look at the romance angel. Okay. So universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen? And Virgo's love life. So there's retreat. Universe, give me through my card. Love yourself first. Yeah, you guys are going to disconnect from them. Okay, you may feel like this person is just not at your level of maturity. Okay, even though there's chemistry there. Let your friends help you. Some of your friends are telling you to be patient with this person. <laughs> and then some of your friends are trying to say just continue to move forward. Um, I feel like you guys are going to listen to your other friends who say to move forward. Okay. 
let's look at the other deck. Let's see what's going on. Okay, let's see. Universe, give me a four card spread. Warrior again. So some of you guys are done with the Aries strongly. Universe, give me three more cards. Fledging, that's you. Summon, that's them. <laughs> Okay, then that's High Priest of the Spear, which is the High Priestess. Okay, Oath. Let's see. So the more that you don't want them, the more they want you. Okay. Universe, give me a four card spread. Privileged Lady. Universe, give me three more cards. Imprisonment. Great fortune and family room community. Okay, this person also this person's a little cocky. That's what I'm getting to. They may feel like you doing this for show, like you breaking free from them, you not you not wanting to deal with them. They feel like you're doing it for show, okay? And they know that they just gotta put in more energy, and that's how they can get back into your life. That's how they're thinking. I feel like a lot of you guys had enough with that fledging and imprisonment card being here. But with that summon and great fortune, they do feel like you are the best person that they ever was in a relationship with. And they want to still be in a relationship with you. Okay. This is probably someone that you have kids with. Or again, this is someone who's very immature. Okay. So let's see. Right, universe, give me a three cards. Oops. Universe, give me a three cards, Brad. Okay, so there is camera, bunny rings, and not enough. Okay. Some of you guys also catch them. Okay. With that camera card, I'm getting like catching. Um, probably they was doing something inappropriate on social media. Okay. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are getting bored out of this connection. You may feel like it's a cycle. Okay, there is dragonfly being lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, depth, change, and heal. Then there is reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Um, union, wedding, marry, still connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. They want that still for still with you. Okay, then there is frustrated relationship, lack of confidence, self sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. So let's look at the sack. Universe, see a four card spread. What's going to happen in Virgo's love life? Confidence, solar plexus, chakra, stand your ground, conflict, and defeat. So, I feel like this is somebody who's overconfident. Okay, um, they're overconfident that they can get you back to um, can have you again. I mean, because I feel like you guys want to be protecting your energy. Okay, balance, shadow. Yeah, I feel like right now you're focusing on your own inner peace. Okay, you probably feel like this was destined to get out of your life. Okay, yeah, you guys want to move forward. So, let's look at other deck. The energy that I'm getting is like, thank you, next. Okay, by Ariana Grande. Okay, universe, give me a, ooh, Jesus, that's so many cards. Universe, give me a five card spread. Universe, give me three more cards. You may feel like this person doesn't deserve your emotions. Universe, give me three more cards. This card keep coming out. What's going on? Okay, um, then it is surrender to the divine full moon. Yeah, I feel you guys going to let go, let God. Okay, voyage of the heart, love flows through you and to you. This is where I'm getting the emotional um, detachedness. Um, you disconnecting. And you, you feel like that's probably the best thing. Everything is smooth selling. Then nothing's yet set in stone. Meetable moon. 
Okay, and stepping into your power. You are strong beyond measure. I feel like you guys are embracing just breaking free from this connection. Your singlehood too as well. Let's look at the angel answers. Okay. Universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen? No. It's up to you. The situation improve. And not the right time. You know. I feel like you don't you guys don't have no bitterness to this person. You wish them the well you wish them well, but you may feel like it's probably gonna take some time for them to improve or and to get better, to be more um more involved okay so i feel like a lot of you guys are just gonna let go and again let god and continue to be in your own journey let's look at the oracles okay universe give me a four card spread so there's sagittarius so yeah definitely see you moving forward could be with the sag might be a new sagittarius I feel like the past is definitely like an Aries or have that in your chart. The truth, new direction, and air. Yep. Air, I feel like it's like, it's kind of remind me of the Gone with the Wind. <laughs> so you guys are just going to be moving forward, okay, to the path of least resistance, okay? And you may feel like you've been trying a lot with this person, but this person is not getting it. Okay, and I feel like you guys are not fearful of this new path, this new journey. Okay, you guys are embracing it. Okay, and I feel like a lot of you guys learn a lot, gain a lot of wisdom. Because that's what Sagittarius energy is about too, is wisdom. And it's about movement too. Okay, so uh, that's the reading that I have for you, Virgos. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading at queenfortotarot at gmail.com.